Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Wednesday new show and it is a packed <clears throat> competition style start to this week. In what sense? Well, there was a competition at the weekend. Right. So the IFSC bouldering season has come to an end, six World Cups, it's all finished, but let's have a look back at the most recent one in Vail. Yanya Gambra had already sewn up the women's overall win, but was looking for a mythical six out of six gold medals. In the women's comp, France's Fanny Gibert had won the semi-final round and was looking for a strong finish to her weekend. She flashed boulder one and climbed boulder three, but couldn't manage boulder two and four, leaving her in bronze medal position and third overall. Japan's Akio Noguchi has been on the podium in many other Vail comps, and it's one of her favorite venues. After a flash of boulder one, it was on to the tricky boulder three that eventually stopped her. Still, a silver medal and second overall is another fantastic result for Ikea. The pressure was on Yanya Garnbrett to produce something spectacular. No one has ever done a clean sweep of World Cups before. Could she pull off the unexpected? She didn't get off to the best start, taking quite a few attempts on the first two boulders, but then she stepped it up a gear and sent boulder three on her second go and flashed the final problem. Another gold and another overall win and a simply dominant season. The men's comp was more wide open with a few potential contenders for the overall title. Korea's Jong Won Chon is another athlete who performs well in Vail, and he started his finals well with a flash of boulder one and a top of boulder two. He finished with a savage top of the very difficult boulder four. A bronze medal for Jong Won Chon and his signature smile came out. Japan's Tomoe Narasaki was 20 points behind Adam Ondra coming into the finals. However, he produced a spectacular result with three tops and 80 points, meaning he took the overall win by just five points after Adam came fifth in the finals. A silver medal and overall win title for Tomoe. Japan's Yoshiki Ogata is a potential overall winner in waiting, and he showed off his class in Vail. Four tops was more than enough for a win, and he took what is sure to be the first of many gold medals. So it's done, it's finished, bouldering season done, yes. over. It was pretty damn cool. Yanya Garnbrett, six out of six. It, Amazing. I mean, what else do you say about the woman? I, like, I write these scripts every week and I have to try to avoid the words dominant, uh, which I use today. Theosaurus. Yeah. The, the what? Theosaurus. Theosaurus is high. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but she did a fantastic competition. Uh, and then Tamoa, no one kind of expected him to win that. He was a way behind Adam and maybe the pressure got to Adam coming fifth in the finals. Yeah. Five points is not much to lose an overall win by. That's amazing that it came down to the last um, last comp for the men's. Yeah, exactly. Exciting. Close to the end. Uh, and now it's lead season. It's kicking off in a few weeks. And as usual, we'll be bringing you all the highlights from that as the season progresses. Okay, next up we have got uh, news of some hard sending in Arco in Italy. Planet Mountain has reported that Angie Eitner has climbed Pure Dreaming 9A, an Adam Ondra route at the Masoni Crag in Arco. Angie spent five days working the route and after struggling on the final few moves for quite some time, eventually managed to climb the route on the last day of her stay. Angie, the first female climber to climb 9B, has previously climbed three 9A routes. So that is the at the massive uh, Masoni Crag in Arco in Italy, the one that like a massive cave mm -hmm. and then comes out. Loads of hard climbing on there, but it's good to see Angie back on uh, form. She haven't really had much of about her since she climbed the Nine Beat La Planta Shiva a couple of years ago. So nice to see her sending hard again. I've been to Masoni four times mm -hmm. and I've never climbed a route. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> It's hard. <laughs> now, very hard. It is very hard. Now, we've talked about uh, blind climber, UK based blind climber Jesse Dufton before, after he did his first E1, and he sent the ridiculously scary sloth in the roaches, but he's just stepped it up again. Jesse, who is part of the British paraclimbing team, has just climbed the Old Man of Hoy. This iconic sea stack is off the Orkney Islands in Scotland. The tower is 137 metres tall and features a few obstacles such as vomiting birds. The route features six pitches of difficulty up to E1 5B and Jesse led and placed all the gear on lead managing to climb it clean with no falls. That is bonkers. Amazing. Like, so, Incredible. okay, so there's birds that throw up on you on that route. You're in the sea, the weather is notoriously terrible, the sandstone is crumbly. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, he's got a radio on uh, with his climbing partner, Molly, um, mm -hmm. who kind of gives him advice. But like, when he goes around the corner of the old band of Hoy, he's totally by himself. 
Now, Alistair Lee filmed that. His movie is gonna come out with the Brit Rock tour, all that kind of stuff, but we do have an interview with Jesse, probably coming in August, and he's just exploded at the moment, so nice one, Jesse. Awesome, all right, next up, we've got news of Babsy and Jacopo, the, the Zangle uh, team, <laughs> standing hard in Bishop. Babsy Zangle has reported on her Instagram that along with her partner in crime, Jacopo Laka, she has climbed the Ethan Pringle route in Bishop, everything is karate, AC plus 9A. The pair who were on their way to Yosemite but had to change plans due to weather, managed to climb the overhanging granite sport route first climbed back in 2017 by Ethan Pringle. The route follows two parallel running seam cracks up an overhanging block and is a spectacular line. So if you want to watch uh, a video about this line, check out the Mad Rock YouTube channel where there is a really awesome video about Ethan Pringle sending that route, but needless, needless to say, it's, it's an epic. Now, kind of moving in the same idea as Epic Lines, Dreamcatcher in Squamish. Wow. That route with the horrible slab followed by the Traverse, well, it's been sent. Nicholas Milburn has climbed the 9A route Dreamcatcher. It took him 10 weeks of trying over three seasons. Now, conditions are important to the climb due to the slopers and marginal nature of the holds. However, on the day, it was windy enough to allow Nicholas to click the chains. Epic TV athlete Stefano Gasolfi was trying that route last year, didn't quite manage it, but it's just one of those lines that everyone knows of. Yeah, it's iconic. Yeah, it truly is. Mm -hmm. Like, if, okay, if I could ever climb 9A, that would be the 9A I want to do. I know, it wouldn't be it, because it's well hard, but I would... Well hard. Well hard, but I'd love to do that. It just yeah. looks amazing. Amazing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Next up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, right, we're going to Alaska now where some Scottish climbers have climbed something well hard. Planet Mountain has reported that Scottish climbers Mark Robson and Simon Richardson have made the first ascents of five hitherto unclimbed peaks in the Steichen Range in southeast Alaska. This range lies between the USA and Canada border and would be the perfect alpinist playground would it not be for the atrocious weather due to its positioning in relation to the Gulf of Alaska. The pair climbed the excellently named Peak 7180, the highest unclimbed mountain in the range, and also climbed peaks P5910, P5720, P5800, and the shapely P5919. For the full report, check out the Planet Mountain linked in the description below. So not only is it a, a alpinist playground, it mm. sounds like it's a mathematician's playground as there, well. There are some banging route names there. Mm, absolutely. Know. I think this is the way forward, like binary numbers to name routes. Yeah, I agree. I, I, I would be able to tell you exactly what peaks they were without looking at my notes. It's true. I'm quite close to 614443. Yeah, that first that is. I've done all the moves. Hard. I've done the moves. Yeah, it takes a bit of work in that. But moment. you know, I'll get it eventually. Um, but anyway, it, good, 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 uh, <laughs> good, good effort by those guys. Sorry, I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> um, but basically, yeah, line of the Okay, uh, update, I've had to extend it again. Um, and I am, I am understanding people who want this in digital form have probably got a point because it is literally impossible to know what's going on. Um, I'm working on it, people. I will be translating this at some point into some kind of document. I don't know. I don't think you will, to be honest. I probably won't, I always say this. Um, I might steal the intern. She could, if she could put it into a spreadsheet. This is what you do if you become an intern at Epic TV. Just you... put this into something better. <laughs> um, James Squire, he's British climber. He works for Banana Fingers. He's <laughs> a man and he is so humble, it's silly. Like it really it, is. What's like, uh, it takes it so far that it's almost annoying. Yeah, his best mate came up to us because we were in Banana Fingers and they were like, look, he's badass. Can yeah. you just make him, make him realize how yeah. badass he is? Yeah. James, if you're listening, you are badass, my friend. Let's also, if you uh, want to follow him on Instagram, he's called Beastly Squirrel. Mm, that's true. Which is probably one of the best Ever handles. Name. Of all these guys, other than Fanny Dong. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I hear BC Squirrel, I've just got James with a little cape on with a, with a squirrel. Yes, yeah, That's yeah, why yeah exactly. See. Like going up an 8C. Yeah, uh, and he's climbed an 8C. That's why he's here. Uh, he's climbed Spray of Light 8C in South Africa. He was trying it last year, uh, did it this year, mm -hmm. and he's. Uh, I know he's recently climbed AB+. He's obviously in a vein of form, so nice one, James. Welcome to the 8C counter. You've got a tick, mate. Bienvenue. No 9Bs. No 9Bs. All right, what's next? Uh, media, media yeah. on the website. Now we've been, we've been pushing the Frasasi, I think I said that right. 
Facade. Yeah, 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 it's a brilliant climbing festival in Italy taking place in September. We were filming there recently. We've released a bunch of media. Here's another little it's teaser, another teaser promotional thing because we, we're all going to be there and we want you guys to be there as well. It looks sick. Yeah, it was. It was. It's a beautiful area. Mm -hmm. But I'm excited to see when the festival's probably taking place. The buildering, you know, that atmosphere. Building's gonna be fun. I'm considering sitting at a bar, drinking aperol spirits, climbing a building, coming down, drinking more aperol spritz. That's dangerous, but I like it. Yeah, but I could. I could. If I fall off, I'm all floppy from the aperol spritz. So I won't break. You could map faults it and just 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 clip in. To a builder. That's true. Yeah. To a builder. It's <laughs> <laughs> an Italian builder who's yeah, wandering exactly. around. Hey. hey. Yeah, but that is fun, so do go and check that out. Link in the description, all the rest. Uh, do you need some mid-season clothes, Hugo? Can we just quickly talk about handpick for the web first? <laughs> oh yeah, okay, come on then. Uh, so just, um, we've got some exciting new uh, videos embedded, mm -hmm. including the new Steve McClure video, mm. which is a UKC production. Yeah. And is uh, his video about uh, Sending the great wellness, is that yeah. right? Is that yeah, right? something like that. In Nescliff. E Nescliff, yeah. E10 7A. Mm -hmm. I did it a couple of weeks ago and they whacked together and edit super quick. We haven't got a clip, but go to the Handpick for the Web site and watch their video. Yeah, it's the best place to kind of find climbing media in it because we get the good yeah. internet stuff. We put it on our website. It's like a one stop we are the best. place. Wow. We're the best. We're the best. Yeah. Uh, also on there is uh, an interesting bouldering. Mm -hmm. Uh, film from Mina Leslie Majestic at yep. Camp uh, in Yosemite, which is awesome. Uh, the Bouldering Dab Rats. They are awesome. We should work with them. We were awesome. A moonboard tutorial. Yep. Yeah. Wicked. That's the stuff. Done. Now, Hugo, yes. do you need some mid-season clothes? Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, we've still got the sale on. We talked about it last week. Uh, Epic TV show. It's like a mid-season. I'm not sure why it's mid-season. It's definitely beginning of summer. We're in the middle of seasons. Oh, I see. We're between seasons. We're between seasons. And we, I thought it was like a middle of the season, not a mid-season. No, we're in the middle of seasons. Yeah, that makes sense. We're in between winter and summer. There you go. People are moving towards shorts. I wore shorts the other day. How did it feel? Cold. Airy? Yeah. <laughs> It's about nine degrees outside at the moment. It's yeah. freaking freezing. It has its moments. But if you want to grab a jacket or a pair of trousers, uh, now is a good time to do it because once summer starts, everything becomes summer prices. Whereas yeah. mid-season, as I've just learnt. Well, do you know the old classic of like buying winter clothes in summer, summer yeah, clothes in winter? I do. That yeah. works, doesn't it? It does, yeah. And then you have something to look forward to winter for. Mm, I've got so much ski gear. Right now? I can't use. Really? No, I haven't actually. Uh. <laughs> um, but talking about stuff uh, to buy, stuff. Beastmaker as well is back in stock. So we've had the 2,000 in stock for ages. Yeah. 1,000 sold out, but don't worry. Don't worry, people, it's back in. Uh, that is excellent news. Mm. Do you um, know what's also really exciting? What? Is I bought something from the Epic TV shop today. Right. I spent it? money. Really? Yeah. We have got a problem solver fingerboard coming that mm -hmm. I figured you and me could use uh, during shoots in hotel rooms. Perfect. Yes. That kind of links quite nicely with your show that you put out on Monday. Which show? The show that you put out on Monday. About oh, what the, yes. Uh, sorry, what I forgot. What yeah. reply? Thanks very much for replying, by the way. We had, we've had hundreds of people replying to that video. It was, yeah. it was bank holiday. We thought we'd smash together a quick video. We were asking your opinion on Climbing Daily because you guys watch this. Uh, although we come up with a lot of stuff, it's, it's their show. That they, they have the ideas and well, I mean, they know what they want to see. It's kind of... It's our show. Our show. It's our show. You can't take our show. Yeah. But if you fancy giving your opinion on Climbing Daily, go to Monday's show. It's a picture of me doing this. Uh, and leave a comment. What is the most uh, asked for, requested? A lot of people are wanting you and me to do another series. Hell a yeah! A lot of people. Uh, there's a lot of uh, gear reviews, like many suggestions on gear reviews. Tips. Yes. It seems, oh, actually, I've got a suggestion. A lot of the people were asking us for tip series that we've already done. Yeah. So it's worth, if you Watching don't know... Watching all of our videos again. That. Yeah. Or 1,500 Or just of them. YouTube Google it. Just type in Anchor Building YouTube Epic Google. TV. Yeah. How do you YouTube Google? Well, you, you go to Google 
and, and then, then you, you go YouTube. to YouTube <laughs> and <then> you search. <laughs> Very but good. Thank you for your comments. Do go onto that video, leave them behind. And I've been through this morning reading them all. I'll be replying to some of them. Thank you very much. I think this is the thank you. Are you doing that? Thank you. Uh, what are you doing this weekend? What are we doing this weekend? Yeah, Marseille, man. Yeah! Deep water solo? Deep water solo. And you know I was super keen to do this. Yeah, now you're I've, scared. I've now, I've, it's, yeah. I, I, what, what if I did it with you? You can't, you got you. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna forego that. You have a go? Yeah, I'm gonna have a go. Sweet. Yeah. There we go. Deep water solo, people. 15 meters high. 15 meters high? Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll just do the small one. Yeah, you could do that. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon, guys. Thank Bye. you. Bye!